Finding passwords, files, ports, and basically analyzing packets is what we're going to do in this part two of network analysis with Wireshark. So to start, we're gonna answer five questions. Uh, let's just start with our first question. What is the web admin password? So to do this, um, we're gonna uh, clean our filters first, okay. and then uh, press Control F. Uh, make sure here it says packet details, and then here string. So we're gonna type web admin. That's what we need. We need the password for web admin. Uh, we're gonna analyze this packet because that was the first thing we got. So if you see here, the developer left a note saying that password.txt has the web admin password, right? We don't have the password yet. But we know where to find it, password.txt. So let's see if we have uh, something close here that says password.txt. We have that here. We're gonna analyze this packet. So let's do right click, follow an HTTP stream. So if you see here, uh, this is the packet that we want, packet 4123, and it literally says web admin password. So here's our answer, SBT123 is the password. Second question, uh, what is the version number of the attacker's FTP server? So first, um, I want you to know that FTP is the file transfer protocol and is a protocol that we basically use to transfer files from one location to another, right? So to do this, um, let's filter again. Uh, let's clean our filters and let's type FTP. If you see here, uh, the first packet we get, uh, it says pi ftp the lib 1.5.5. I guess that's the version, but I don't know what this is. So let's do a little research. So pi ftp is uh, a library that allows users to create FTP servers. So what we need is the version of the FTP, FTP server. And here it is. Uh, this is a library to create servers. It means that this is the version of the library and that would be the version of the server. That's the answer to our second question. Third question, and this gets a little more tricky. Which port was used to gain access to the victim windows host? Okay, to do this, uh, Remember uh, to clean the filters and uh, remember that the attacker got some passwords uh, that are here. Here's the get and this is a file. The attacker got this file with password and this green is just HTTP traffic. How do I know that? You just go to view, coloring rules and here it says HTTP, you see it's green that's how I know so once the attacker got that uh, I wanted to know okay he got that what does he want to do so I want to analyze the next packet to know what is the attacker next movement and that's how I'm gonna know what is the port that was used to gain access to the victim's computer so let's analyze this packet uh, right click follow and TCP stream so if you see here, uh, here this is uh, this is the victim. This is the attacker. So it's creating a connection. Once the attacker is connected, he just starts moving around. You see, like moving around directories, getting files. So we can see that every command that the attacker is using is using port eight zero eight one. So you see, 8081, if you go here, 8081, here 8081, and then I want to see the last movement that was like a malware file, and you see here, 
the attacker, this is the attacker, is getting this malware executable with port 8081. So that would be our answer for our third question. So what is the name of the confidential file on the Windows host? Uh, while we were analyzing these packets, I saw here some files and I'm sure uh, it's gonna be here. So to find that, we can easily just uh, type here and find confidential and here it is. That was easy. This is the name of the file. So that's the answer to our fourth question. And then uh, last question, what is the name of the log file that was created at 4.51 a.m.? So keywords here is log file because probably f at 4.51 uh, there were another files created but not all of them were log files. So what we can do here again is analyzing this packet, same packet we've been working with and then just type 4. 51 and enter so you see we have 451 here but we have 451 here however this one it just says socket server dot pi that's not a log file that's not what we need but this one says log file dot log so that's what we need that was a file that was Okay, that was gotten created 451. That's the answer to our fifth question. Uh, that's pretty much for today. See you soon and thank you for watching.